Hi everybody. So we know what it's like to walk in our school every day. Um, but the neat part is our new school is starting to take shape. And we want to take you over there and give you a chance to see what it looks like from the outside and maybe even take you inside the school to see a little bit. So come on with me and we're going to take a ride in the truck. Here we are, take a look. Pretty amazing progress here so far. 120 Juggins Road, I guess is the address of our new school. Pretty neat to see. First time I've ever seen that printed. We're gonna take a second. We're gonna start walking around the building. And again, just hope you enjoy our trip around the building. All right, so what you're looking at right now is the view when you come in off the bus, when we first come here our first days of school, our buses are gonna come in through our bus loop. You can see it taking shape over here. And what you see is one of the two back stacks of the building. Um, each side will have a grade level on each side. Um, uh, as of right now, I would bet the bottom side over here is probably our second grade when we join in. Our middle floor is probably our kindergarten. And the fourth grade is probably the top. So if you're wondering where you are, that's a couple grade level spots where you may be. The opposite side of the building is where you'll find our first grade, our kindergarten, and our fifth grade. So we'll see it a little closer as we get over there. All right, here I am. I'm actually looking at the main entrance of the building right now. Now, your parents, I don't expect them to come in on the bus ramp. However, behind me right now is where your parents will park. The main entrance to the school is actually right back behind me over here where the fence is located. That's where they'll enter in, and soon we'll start to have a parking lot located over here with a lot of uh, different lines and curbs and everything else taking place. All right, so what you see behind me is where our main entrance to the building is going to be. This is going to be right over in this spot. We'll look in there in a second. And straight through back of the woods, that's actually where our library is going to be. So let's walk a little closer. So right now we're in the main entrance area. This is the lobby of the school. Right here is the little entrance to the library. Is Check out the woods that you'll look out from the library. It'll be pretty neat. You can also see the two stacks of the building. You walk in on the middle floor, so it's pretty neat to see. You can see a stairway starting to be built over here. Let's take a look down the hall. So what you see taking shape right now, in this location, that's where our PE room is located. We're gonna go twice a week. It doesn't look as big as it is right now, but it's about twice the size of what we're currently having in our building. Those of you who like music, take a look over here. There's your music room taking shape. For those of you who love art, here's our art room taking shape over there. Over there. And notice that back side, there's an opening, there's a door that will walk outside. You can so you can enjoy art inside and outside. Also, turning back over towards our PE room, you can see our stage starting to take shape. So those of you in chorus, that's where you're gonna be performing one day. 
Alright, so for those of you who enjoy running every single PE class, soon out in this area is where we're gonna have our track placed in. Also, our, point, our fields will be back there for us to play um, in PE. Let's take a look down this direction. It's still rough, it's taking shape. This is one of our playground areas down over here. You can also see further back that direction where some of the playground equipment will go too. There's a lot of grading yet to be done, but it's starting to take shape. All right, so what you're seeing over here to our left is where the main office will be. That's where your parents will sign you in and out of the school uh, when you show up. Also, our nurse's office will be over here too. When I look behind me over here, this is where our cafeteria is located, where you'll be coming in every day and enjoying that great food Miss Helen makes. So if you take a look over here, you can start to see where walls going up in between the section. This is actually where our serving lines are going to be inside of our cafeteria. We will get our food that's made in our kitchen. It's a large space right now, but there's a lot of things, a lot of preparation goes in there. Freezers go inside of that section. A lot of staff work inside there. And that's going to be a really busy place of our building. So I want you to take a look over here. Take a look at the depth of one of our footers of the building about 10 to 12 feet down and it shows how much strength and uh, concrete has to be there to support the roof that will be above us in one day. It's pretty neat to see. Okay, so here we are. Uh, this is actually called our D-Wing um, where it's located. As I said before, this is probably where our, uh, this is probably our kindergarten level right here. Um, and then below us uh, is where second grade would be and above us would be where fourth grade would be located inside this well. Here's one of our stairwells being built. It's kind of neat to see it before the stairs actually built inside. You can actually look down below and see where the door is going to walk out. You can also see where the bricks are located. That's going to be where it builds up to start our stairs. So it's really neat to see how big it is um, as one way of moving between the three floors back here. All right, so take a look around. Here we are inside of one of our floors. You need to see the openness. The middle section, when you look back, that's our collaborative area. That's that space outside the classrooms that are really neat. There'll be a couple offices inside of this area or, or a conference room. And then all that area, that's that wide open area to move to. How about these? Take a look at the size of these beams that are supporting the structure. And notice they're not all just going straight up and down, it's vertical. They're also triangular structures and angles. It makes it even stronger in supporting it. You won't see it whenever the building's done being built, but without those, the building doesn't have the structure and stability to make it work. Andy, right now, is where one of our playgrounds are located on the building, um, so it'll be a lot of fun for that. You can also see classrooms starting to take shape a little bit more. We'll go a little closer in a second. Again, this is, uh, I believe it's our second grade section down here, so we'll see a little closer. You'll start to see some of the uh, ductwork going in to make, keep us nice and cool or warm in the winter. Um, you can see where our stairwell is from down below as well, so a lot of different things taking shape. Go. Okay, here we are again in the bottom now of the stairwell. Kind of need to look up. That's where we were once before. Um, and we're going to walk across and show you a couple other things that are down here starting to take shape. You can start to see our hallway taking shape down here. Actually, we're going to go a little bit further up ahead too. As we walk by, here's one of our bathroom locations. Looks like a great bathroom, doesn't it? Here's some of our first offices taking shape. Uh, this is actually where one of our uh, speaks language uh, or Miss Wander's office will be probably located in this location. So Miss Wander, you're the first room I'm calling out. And now we're down below this space. Imagine it going straight up. This is where our library is right above us, the hallway down below. Um, and you get a better idea of seeing what we'll look out at from the ground level between the two wings. We're also looking here, I'm gonna have you look up. All the copper pipes, that's where water is gonna travel. You can see all the metal pipes over there, that's carrying a lot of the electricity, power line. And we're gonna walk inside the other uh, wing and we'll see more of like where the duct work is to keep the building nice and cool.
All right, so we're walking into the section now from the inside of the building. So this is down below, a little bit further along than we were upstairs. When you look up, you can see all the duct work taking place. Notice how they're all wrapped up. We have some big stacks down here too. They're working really hard to keep them all wrapped to keep the dust and dirt out of, out of these uh, uh, duct works. Also, if you look up, you see the red pipes. That's for all the fire uh, conduit. And all the little straps that are hanging down from the ceiling, that's gonna hold different duct work just like these up throughout the entire place. We also have our first temporary real lighting <laughs> um, taking place down here so we don't have to have generators working down here the same way. It's actually wired in. Pretty neat to see the progress. All right, so we're back again, kind of where we started off. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the property. Next time I come back here, I expect the building to be closed in. We should have siding up around. We should have uh, our brick going all the way around. We should have roofs everywhere. Um, and then we'll be working on focusing on the inside, getting it finished. But I hope you enjoyed the tour. See you next time.